Please welcome the stupendously adorable Lucy Liu, everybody. Yeah. Lucy. Sensational! Look at you with your lovely or is that orange? Yeah, actually, they said um, they said um, you know that the chair is maroon. The chair is yeah. mar and maroon. Said, okay, that's, I think the orange will still still be okay. Yeah, no, it's like they was gonna blend in, just have a floating head. That's why. I, that's why I can't wear dark suits here because it's so it's so badly lit. This show that it just looks like. Uh, it's, yeah, no, but you'll be all right. People will notice you. I, I think you'll be used to that. No, I'm not. No, no, you look no, good. No, I live in New York, so no one notices you. You just hang out, no one cares. No, that's, you think that, that's New Yorkers. They fooled you. What they're doing is they're looking at you out the corner of their eye. <laughs> they're like, who's that? Over? Don't look, don't look, don't, don't look. look. I can, don't I can look. see. <laughs> they do that. You live in New York? Really? I live in, I'm from New York. I, I grew up there. Really? Do you so still live with your here? parents? No. <laughs> Actually, it was funny because my parents lived in New York and then they moved to LA and then when they came out here, I moved to New York. Really? So convenient. <laughs> Do you have a problem Avoid with your parents Avoidance. or something? <laughs> no, it's just they came out for the weather and I decided I need to go back and have a little, you know, Yeah, you miss the culture. smell of pizza and urine. And, and all that, yeah. yeah. It's true. You're no, not no, wrong. No, no, I get it. No, I used to live in New York. There's something about it. It invigorates I used to live in the, in the East Village. I loved it. It was fantastic. The I East think. Village is so gentrified now. Yeah, it, now, yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. I lived there in the 80s, and uh, it was different it wasn't then. It was then, yeah. No. When I went back, I went for a walk through Tompkins Square Park, where I used to live it's right next gorgeous. to... gorgeous. Yeah, there were people there with children. No, and it's not like breathing. a drug-infested, no, like I, homeless people hanging yeah, out. No, it used yeah. to be like... Argh! Yeah, yeah. There, there's where you lay over them. I was gonna say. <laughs> now listen, tell me about the uh, about the marry me movie. Is this a 15-hour movie? It takes it place. It is. It's over... like the, it's like a Britney Spears marriage. You start uh -oh. on Sunday and ends on Monday. <laughs> Ooh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you woke the skeleton up. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> no, no, the, in the movie, you're, you get married to the frogman? I have three options. It's sort of like the dating game. Like, there's three different men who end up proposing to me, and I'm trying to figure out which one. At first, she has nobody. Right. And then suddenly, she... It's like a bus. You, yeah, wait, you, uh, you, you, you wait, wait for a bus, stop. and then suddenly three come at once. Yeah. <laughs> and you, yeah. It's probably... Uh, but anyway, she ends up figuring out which one she wants in, over the series of between Sunday and Monday, and then by so the end of the So it's a series then. It's a well, it's a mini series. It's a movie. It's two movies. Two movies. See, I said two movies. And you laugh. <laughs> you bastards. So, so that, they're right. So it's a movie, and then the Sunday, and then the Monday. Yeah. Yeah. They, all right. They like, split it up. So they split it up like Shark Week. <laughs> You know, in Shark Week, you don't get all of Shark Week in one night. They, it's too much Shark for one right, night. Right, too much Shark yeah, for one night. You don't want, look, one night. Look, if you can they get Lucy Lou, you don't want Lucy Lou all in one night. You want Lucy Lou Monday night. Spread Sunday. it out. Yeah, spread, spread it out. It. Yes, man. Yeah. You want it smooth. You don't want yes, it. Yes, I do. Chunky. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> so you live in New York, then, eh? <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. What's your uh, What's your background then? Where are your, your folks from? Um, Taiwan. Um, close. Where? Um, Beijing and Shanghai. I thought it was Taiwan. <laughs> well, it's its own island. Actually, oh. China does not acknowledge Taiwan. So. What? Well, what do you mean it doesn't acknowledge? It? Like, I don't. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> like beyond if Taiwan New York, where you don't even like see it at the corner of your eye. Like, so it's if not there. if China and Taiwan were on Twitter, China would have blocked Taiwan on Twitter. <laughs> it would have. Ooh la la. Yeah. What blocked it? God bless you. <laughs> have you ever heard that before? Yeah, yeah you know what? Not only time. have I heard it, I've suffered from it, Lucy. <laughs> suffered. And that's the bastard over there who does it every time. <laughs> He's yeah. the boss. <laughs> so you, your, your folks are then from China? Yeah, from Beijing and China. Do you speak uh, Mandarin or I do. Uh, Cantonese? I speak Mandarin. Mandarin? Mm -hmm. It's a very difficult language. Did you grow up speaking that? I sp yes. Oh, yeah. it's not that difficult. I, you know what? I, I don't think it's as difficult as everyone thinks it is, but it is the language that everyone's learning now. I mean, it used to be Japan, you know, you go to Japanese, Germany, those are the places that were coming up, and now you go to school and they want you to learn Chinese. Really? I'm yeah. glad I don't. You missed that whole yeah, thing. Well, I, <laughs> I, I, very, I barely speak English. But you have a sweet accent and you can get away with anything. Yes, I can. <laughs> Can I? You can. Right. <laughs> Just 
thinking. Just thinking of what, <laughs> how far to push my luck, I think. Try me. Have you ever been uh, over to the old country? You ever been to Scotland or Ireland or? You know? I've been, uh, I haven't been to Scotland or Ireland yet. Mm, so that would be no then. But I did, I did, um, I asked a couple of friends of mine who are there if there are a lot of Chinese people and they said no. Au contraire, there's a Chinatown in Glasgow. It, but it's like two people. <laughs> People are not like rabbits, you know. I didn't say they were. <laughs> it's like two people. No, and they own the restaurant or something. It's like one Chinese restaurant. No, no, no. There's a genuine Chinatown in Glasgow, I swear. China, uh, uh, Glasgow used to be a huge port city. And so the, anywhere there's big port cities, you usually get a, a Chinatown. Like San Francisco is a big Chinatown right. because it's a port city. There's not a big Chinatown in Kansas. No, why? No ships. But. <laughs> But <laughs> Glasgow was a, a, a huge port, so there's a Chinatown there. How is it? That's well, about four people. <laughs> no, it's not. It's bigger. Yeah. I swear it's bigger. It's bigger. It's quite. I mean, but it's would you? It's not significant. It's not. And they have accents. They do. Yeah, mm. they talk Scottish yes, accents. With a Scottish accent. Yeah. Do you know what's great is when you hear there's a lot of Indian people in Glasgow and they have Indian Glasgow accents. Oh, I love that. It's very nice. So they talk a bit like that. You know what I'm saying? A wee Scottish and Indian accent at the same time. Wow. Yeah. And they do the. Yeah, they do that, yeah. but it's Scottish. I love it. It's amazing. Do you like accents? I do. What about Australians? I like Australians. Really? All I, I like people from Scotland more. Yeah. <laughs> there's less of you. you there know are what I less mean? of us. Yeah, there's only so, five million Scottish people, which is probably There's enough. a lot of Australians. Yeah, a lot of Australians. A lot of Chinese in Australia, too. Yes, I did notice that when I was there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When were you there? <laughs> Well, I was there in the 80s, actually. Oh. Yeah, I, was, I went down to Australia. Um, I can't remember why I went. But... <laughs> you went down under, but you don't remember. No, I would remember that. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're out of time. Do you want to do uh, awkward pause or mouth organ? Mouth organ. Yes, I thought you no, might no. say that. <laughs> no, that's, mouth organ's fine. That's okay. like what I was hoping you'd say. Um, <laughs> do you play? No. Good. This is a good time to learn. Take the organ out. Uh, put it in your mouth and then suck and or blow. It's like candy. It is like candy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's, the thing to remember is it's candy, not a chew toy, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Nice choice! That's, that's really, really nice. Look at music uh, yeah. together. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's kind of nice. <laughs> it's like an Enya album. <laughs> Tootsie Fruits. <laughs> hey, I'm playing harmonica with Lucy Lou. You can go do what you I got up. I got okay. Lucy Lou, everybody. We'll be right back. Please welcome the absolutely spectacular Lucy Lou, everybody. Lucy Lou. Too skinny. That's what I said. Not you. <laughs> Though, although Jeff's you are not very too skinny. No, well, he's too skinny. He's a skeleton. Look at me. I've got great. all kinds of types. Come on. No. Well, there are all kinds of types. That's true. But Jeff's a, an appliance, <laughs> made of, uh, <laughs> uh, and and he's also his sexual preference is not uh, suitable to. Well, you know where I'm going with okay. this. Okay. Uh, isn't that the, what's going on in the scene there? Isn't that? Um. Actually, yeah. Well, he's he's gay, so right. she knows that he's kind of off the table. Right. And that cop uniform that you're wearing there? Yeah. Yeah, you have that? Yeah. <laughs> that's how I got the job. Oh, man. <laughs> no. that's, uh, that's quite a look there. Uh, yeah. Well, it's actually, it's not that sexy. It's well, like, I don't know. It's it's not, it, it, there's no, you know, it's like from head to toe. It's, it's like gabardine. It's like full on. Yeah, exactly. You so like you it? have to like fight your way through. Yeah, you've yeah. got a gun. You've got your... <laughs> 
No, it's going to be a struggle. And, you've got to work your way through it. Yes. You've got equipment. I mean, it's, it's heavy. Ooh, you've and you're got equipment. A That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're wearing a full-on, uh, uh, you know, bullet Kevlar? Vest. Yeah. Did you go on a ride-along? Did you do a ride? I did a ride-along in South Central. Really? Yeah. It, I mean, did you see any scary stuff? Yeah, we were in the projects. We were rolling in the projects. Rolling? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it I was see like... see you learned the time. words then. Oh, uh, you know. I know a little bit. My brother is NYP. Oh, your brother is yeah, a cop. That's was, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I learned a little bit about it. Did he it. tell you any, like, secret cop handshakes or anything? Uh, you know, those are secret. Yeah, I guess they are. I can show you under the table. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's good. And so you're doing. Hey, you know who was talking about you? Who was here like a couple of days ago? Tell me. Rizza. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said he's directed you in a, in a film. Yeah, we were shooting in China. And nice. it was, you know, in the area that we were, there's like no African American people to be found. Right. And there's this huge, you know, he's there. He's, he's a big guy. He's yeah, a yeah. big guy. He's black. And he's, I know. He's, and he's <laughs> proud of it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and it was like, and then there's all of us that are all the same height, and then him. You know. Are, do you speak, what is it, Mandarin or there? Mandarin, yeah. And he, he did a great job. He wrote the script um, with Eli Roth, and he just, I mean, this is his first movie. And he did this period piece that's, wow. you know, and we're Russell all Crow's dressed in it? in it. Russell's in it, yeah. Does he speak uh, Mandarin in the movie? He doesn't speak Mandarin. He speaks mm. his own language. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's called Ooh, la, la. Russell Crow. <laughs> He's been here a couple of times, Russell. He's uh, he's got his own ideas. I like that. Yeah, you know, it's like, he's got he's a force of nature. He is a force of nature. He's a, well, he's from New Zealand, but he lives in Australia. Oh, is they he? They get around by kangaroo. That's is uh, they? Yeah. all that bouncing. Yeah. Have you ever been down there? Yeah. And also, have you been to Australia? No, I mean, have you? Nice. Well, it was a <laughs> joke. It was only a joke. It was a, no, well, it depends. It is, no, it's a joke. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, we'll do the secret hands. You've got please. lovely hands. Have I said that to you before? No, they're, they're very small, though. Well, that's appropriate. Yeah. It would be kind of offbeat if you had big, giant, hairy hands. Yeah, I'd, no. be like, <laughs> I'd be like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Lucy, smash! <laughs> You have been to Australia. I've been to Australia for a lot of press, and I was in New Zealand. Actually, Kevin Sorbo is coming on next. I yeah. worked with him in New Zealand ages ago. Really? Yes. What did you do? I did um, an episode of Hercules. Did he rescue you? Um, I think he did, but I can't remember because it was so long ago. Really? Yeah, he's going to have a story to tell you, I'm sure. Well, but I was running around, and I mean, it was freezing there, and I was running around in some, like, caveman outfit and swinging a stick and, you know. Oh, yes, I was like I this do. really, like, <laughs> yeah. you know about swinging I'm sorry, I'm being very creepy. <laughs> I, I can't help it. I can't help it. It's every time you're here, I seem to, like, really increase my creepy level, which is pretty high anyway. Is it? Oh, man, I'm a creepy guy, but I when you're here, like I it. just start, I really creep out. I'm, like, salivating and going, ooh, I like your hands. It's a compliment, then. It is a compliment in a weird way. I'm sorry if I'm frightening I'm you. I'm not creeped out. No, okay. okay I can have I like your necklace. Oh, thanks. It's very Cleopatra. It's jingly as well. Is it jingly? Yeah, they were like, jingle it, jingle it. <laughs> we were doing it in the dressing room, like... Look, if you do that, she'll stop doing it. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, really? I didn't notice it jingling there. Uh, now, is that... Is, is, is it very heavy? I don't know. It feels really good. I mean, when it was first put on, it was really cold, but now it's, like, perfectly... Temp it's, night it's keeping my neck warm. <laughs> do you have a cold neck problem? Because uh, uh, turtlenecks is the way to go for that. You wanna, uh, or a jingly, a jingly, no, yeah, or yeah. pop uniform. No, we, the Kevlar is real. We have to wear the real bulletproof vests. Even when you're just They're acting? so heavy. Yeah, they don't. Acting can be dangerous, that's true. Acting yeah, can yeah. be incredibly dangerous, as yeah. you well know. Um, no, they, they want us to feel like we're really in uniform and really wearing everything. Oh, I guess you gun. could move we a certain way. Thing. Yeah, that makes everything sense. Everything is, you know, the real deal. Re real gun? Real gun. No, come They on. have both. Well, they don't have to load it. Wow, that would freak me out. Would it? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I'm... I've been... Tootsie Fruitsie. No, I'm kind of creepy and Tootsie Fruitsie. Uh, that's not a good combo. Oh, girls love it. Do they? Yeah. A creepy... The Tootsie Fruitsie. Yeah, girls love a creepy... Tootsie Fruitsie. Yeah. <laughs> She's so different. <laughs> oh, we can't probably say that word, can we? Huh. Well, it's a slang word. It's not a cuss it's word. A I try and explain no. to it, but... It's not um, describing anything but yourself. Right. Not it, it, it's it, it, other regions of the woman. <laughs> I didn't 
Oh, that's yeah, okay. Yeah, no, you can I'm see that. I'm referring to it. No, but you know, you're wearing the whole outfit, and it's you know, they want. It's a very. I don't know if you've seen the show or not, but it's incredibly I, I, raw. What it's I will do real. is I'll save it up and then watch the whole series. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I do. There's with only the, ten of them, so you've got. Well, also with the quality dramas. That's what I do. I think a lot of people do that. Yeah, save them up. Like, uh, like with The Wire. I watch The Wire so like that. Good. That's a great oh, show. Oh yeah, isn't it? it's really. Wow. Good. Yeah. I think you're gonna really like it. Yeah, I think I probably will. Yeah, it's one of them, you know, quality cop shows with it's things gonna happening. Be, well, when you watch it, you'll see. It's it's got it's got. Um, I mean, we're really doing stuff. I'm getting I'm getting killed on the streets. Literally, I mean, I have like episode one. I have this scar. I have episode two. I have other episodes down no, here. I don't know if this. <laughs> In the thigh area, not... Would I, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I'll give you a quick <laughs> once over if you want. They seem to be healing properly, so... Okay, okay. you know, I've, got, I've probably got some Neosporin. <laughs> or whatever product I should say. Remember they had... They used to have iodine, where you just put the iodine... Iodine, yeah. It was like red blotch. It was like, that's going to fix... Do you know how they... Uh, when I was a kid in Scotland, how they would fix, like, cuts and grazes and stuff? Gravel. <laughs> That sounds like how you get a cut. That, right, that's true. When but you what they do is, like, if you got cut here, they'd put gravel here and go, there, that hurts, doesn't it? You go, yeah, well, you forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what they've done recently is that if, you, if I get cut on a set, they'll super glue me. Oh, yeah. They no, just put super glue on and that's, that's But it. that's dangerous, though. You know why? Yes, yeah, because you get scarred and also you can get very attached to objects nearby. <laughs> there you go. All right. We have to, we have to take a break. Uh, do you have any tattoos? Have I ever asked you that? I don't. Yeah. Do you, probably I could, uh, you should get one. <laughs> a little one. A little tiny one? Yeah, it's a I little have many one. scars on my body. I think. Well, I've that's why you can incorporate can the I? scar into a tattoo. <laughs> like, cover it up. I I've got a big know. kind of shark skate. I've got a big kind of... Um, a shark bite? No, close. Uh, <laughs> scar. I've got a scar here that looks a bit like Nothing a shark. About, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it looks like a shark. Right, so I thought I'd have a shark put on it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not as literal as all that. I, I you know, I think I'm, I'm okay. Okay. I mean, it's, you know, because everyone has a tattoo, like everybody. I'm trying to be different. How dare you? <laughs> That's true, though. I'm, I'm beginning to feel that. Like, I, I haven't got a tramp stamp yet. I'm going to get a tramp stamp. You are? Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to say tramp stamp. Tramp. Yeah. <laughs> We'll take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Lucy Lou. Uh, and uh, and uh, Lucy Lou's here with me. But there's nothing in it. Don't read anything into it. There's nothing going on, right? Nothing. <laughs> oh, uh, well, okay. that's, that's fine. Um, we're uh, we're out of time. Are we? Not really. I mean, sort of. Uh, we're sort of out of time. It takes me. We gotta, you know, we gotta get into. It. We just started warming up. Oh, okay. Um, well, I guess we're not. So, listen. Uh, where have you been then? Uh, did you go on vacation this year? Um, I've been working since October, and I live in New York normally. Really? Yeah, so it's how's New York? You still uh, pee pee pizza that kind of thing? The, <laughs> the smell, you know. Uh, oh yeah, pee 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 and pizza. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the all the important peas. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, I mean, personality. The... That's the three peas in show business: personality, pee pee, and pizza. All of it's there. You get more of that there than you get in L.A. <laughs> yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. L.A.? Um, but New York is amazing. I went back, I was there for a few days, and I saw, like, four shows. And, What'd you, know, you see? I saw a bunch of Broadway shows. I saw a Seminar. I saw um, uh, Road to Mecca. I saw a bunch of... I had friends in shows as well, you know, so I went to go see oh, yeah, them. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It was great. You, you just... It's so alive there. You're, that you get... You leave at 8 in the morning, and you come back at 1 in the morning. I know, and you go out, and you see things, and you're, people you're interact alive, with other people. Yeah, and then and then yeah, that's it. And you go out in L.A., you drive around, jerks flip you off, and you go home. You go that's home. it. Yeah. It ends at, you know, oh, 9 o'clock. Dreadful town. I'm sick of it. You're sick of it? Absolutely. You love it here. The weather's so No, no, I can't Come on, let's move. Bear let's move. It. No, 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 Just I, take your background with you. Just roll it up and bring it to New York. I think we could do that, couldn't we? We could, could just take that show and we could go we'll to invite the entire audience? Yeah, you guys can. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fun. You can get John Travolta to fly everybody over there? That's a great idea. Do you know John Travolta? 
I think that John Travolta, my theory about John Travolta is you give him an excuse to fly a plane, he'll take it. G give him an he excuse. loves to fly airplanes. Well, he loves it, so yeah, no. give him an excuse. He's an actual pilot for Qantas. He, like, he has a rating and stuff. Oh, really? Like that. Yeah, he sits in their planes and they let him sit up front and say, Hi, it's John Travolta. And everyone's like, Not Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, and he goes, Yeah, and he flies him up and down. And he's, Yes. He's but like, is he flying or is he just hanging out? No, he's actually flying. Because I've been in the plane before where they said, Do you want to come and watch us land? Really? Yeah, and you can sit in the cockpit. Hey, you, I've got a pilot's license. Aha! Uh -huh. Didn't know that, did you? I, I, I'm in shock. Right. So I am creepy and weird, but I do have but a pilot's license. But you've got some life. talent. Yeah. you got cred. Well, I don't know if it counts as talent, but it means that I can show up to the same place over and over again and apply myself to things. Oh, okay. <laughs> and they eventually give you a registration. Yeah, that's right. They say, well, you've been here 12 times, you're a pilot. When's the uh, last time you flew? I haven't flown in a while, actually. You got to keep that up because I, I don't know, know if it's anyone's going to want to get on board if, if you're like, when's the last time you flew? Ten years ago? Oh. Yeah, no, no, that's, I actually, I used to own a tiny little airplane and oh, really? I had to sell it. Yeah, because I thought if I keep flying this, uh oh. <laughs> Local news. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. That's scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's bad. Have you ever been up in a tiny little, tiny yes, plane? Yes, I have. Terrifying. Really? Yeah. Where? Africa. Yes. Yes. Even worse. <laughs> in the, like an old German plane, too. German plane? Yeah. Mm. Whatever's Mr. left over. Uh, left over? From yeah, whatever's left over from wherever. They just put it together, hammer it, and yeah, let's fly. Do you know that Ernest, Hem Ernest Hemingway had a two plane crashes in the same week in Africa? I mean, that's crazy. One is enough for me. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. Like, Ernest, I don't need that. He don't gets on this plane. The plane crashes, and his wife was very angry at him. They, she said, "He said, all right, we'll uh, we'll get another plane. We'll get out of here." And she said, "It's dangerous." He said, "What are the odds? Come on." Oh my gosh. And they yeah. had a second one. That's a true story. Do you ever read any Hemingway? Yeah. Really, I've, cool. I've never really taken to it to be what, honest. What's your favorite? Hemingway. No author. Hmm. At the moment. Your Abby. Yeah. <laughs> so quick and easy. I don't really have... It's not like your favorite music. It's kind of like, I like some. Yeah. I, can, I tend to read crime books oh. about New York, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. What's the last one you read? Lawrence Block. I'm reading a series of short stories oh, of hers great. right now called The Night and the Music about an alcoholic detective in New York. It's very good. Hi, <laughs> caramba. What's wrong with you? Ah, well, I mean. He reads on his spare time. Yeah, yeah. What a loser. <laughs> You into anything like that? What? Crime mysteries. I, I, well, you I, do the crime show. It's probably... I do the crime shows, yeah. I mean, I, I, I have a hard time finding, uh, you know, sitting down and reading because I'm always memorizing lines and stuff. Angry Birds is what you want to do. Oh, yeah. Just... Well, they're making a movie out of it now. You're kidding me. No. See, yeah. I'll have to see it. You, your kids are going to drag you? No, well, that, and also, I'm so addicted to Angry Birds. Oh, it's, you are? Yeah, yes, I'm like, I play it, and then I think, I hate myself, and I keep going. <laughs> All right, we are out of time. So what about, uh, what do you want to do? You want to do awkward pause, mouth organ, or a uh, big cash prize? Let's do the, the cash prize. What time is it, Jean? It's time for the big cash prize. Cash prize, all right. You can win the cash prize any one. All right, that's enough. You can win the cash prize any one of three ways. You can answer the question. You can guess what's in my box, or you can uh, go for the mouth organ again. I just added that. That's not normally in it. Oh, you give me a special treat. Um, I'll guess what's in the box. Okay, here's how guess my, what's in my box works. I imagine a box in my head. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's in it. There's something in it. Only Jeff knows the answer to what's in it. You guess what's in the box. If you're correct, you win the $50, which is over here. Okay. And if you're wrong, you're still getting the $50 because you're Lucy Liv. <laughs> So but you're pretty much guaranteed okay. for the 50 bucks, I think. Okay. Okay. But it's going to be tense. All right. I'm imagining a box. Uh-huh. <laughs> and there's something in it. I don't know what it is. Go ahead. I love you very much, but we can't say that on TV. <laughs> Am I right? Well, if you've got to be more specific and, and later. But, uh, <laughs> so I, I'll imagine a different box. Okay. I'm imagining a different box. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I feel trapped. Um, no, you, you shouldn't feel trapped. I do have psychic skills. Right, there you go then. On you go. What's in the box? 
chicken parmesan with a side of pasta. I don't know if that's true. Jeff, is that the correct answer? We will take that answer. Yes! Hey, Lucy. Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. Are you having fun at the Super Bowl? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're just, you know, hanging. Hey, you have a treasure. Um, actually, the, the wireless has been killing my battery. Can I borrow that for a minute? Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll charge like it for five, you right now. Just for like five, ten right minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll do okay, it. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll charge. Oh, oh, there's a, I wanted to say hi to him. Okay, hi, yeah, then I'll, okay. I'll charge I'll this. I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. Five, five, Craig, don't use that outlet. The guy told us not to use this outlet. I know the guy said don't use the outlet, but it's one outlet. It's Lucy Lou. What's going to go wrong, huh? This is the Superdome. This this thing is going to blow the whole stadium for 20 minutes. The whole thing is going to be dark. The show will be off the air, and NFL history may be changed. It's one outlet. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> It's the Craig Ferguson Super Bowl Special. Starring in alphabetical order, Drew Brees, Steve Carell, Julie Chan, Neil Patrick Harris, Nikki Reed, and Channing Tatum. Featuring the San Francisco 49ers Gold Rush Cheerleaders, Sergeant Danny Kramer and Officer George Jackson, NOPD, Secretariat, Music by Bone Patrol. And yours truly, Jeff Peterson. We'll be back from New Orleans after these messages.